Hello, anybody who's watching this. Thanks for biting me right when I said that. Um, welcome to my reaction to Crusader Kings 2.0 review. You cannot afford fa You cannot afford. <laughs> I thought you cannot afford family edition. Anyway, family edition trademark. Um, I'm recording it right after Underrail. With the exception of I went to get some water. And my cat woke up and now. Yep, and now he's biting me. I guess you can see it. Light in the corner. Stop licking me. Bite or. No, whatever. Ew. Um. Uh. Again, I, I heard about the Crusader Kings before, but I'm not sure. I think it's a strategy game. That's that's all my knowledge. So it will be interesting to check it out. Uh, and if you have a video for me to react to, or you just want to help, there's a donation link in the description below. Uh, you can throw a link my way, or just money my way. But if it's a link, I'll get to your video as soon as I can. If it's money, I promise I'll spend it as soon as I can if you want to. Hey, hey, people, Zach hey, hey. here. Today, I'll be covering a game which really tests the limits of my ADD medication. A game where you can grow an empire, watch it prosper, only to stub your toe, die from an infection, and watch your empire dissolve because you have no idea how inheritance works. Catch okay. cancer, beat cancer by praying it away. Well, that's Thanks, God. Grabs. Spend money, invest into your own people, lose your money, go heavily into debt, borrow money from the Jews, consider paying them back. Keep it instead by expelling the Jews from your country. Don't feel bad about it. We've been expelled so often, you really won't hurt our feelings if you do it again. Marry oui? your sister. Is that Jewish? I think it's... I, it, it, in case I'm... Not in case. I might be forgetting, but I think he never said that before in any video I watched. He never throws any information about himself in real life. Divorce your sister because she's too old. Marry her daughter instead. Turn your family tree into a family circle and watch your dynasty burn to the ground as your children collect every chromosome known to man. Of course, yeah. I'm talking about that, the most prolific, happen. complex, and intricate medieval incest simulator on the market today. Crusader yeah. Kings you really went back to sleep? That's not how it happens. Okay. 2. Crusader Kings 2 is a game covering nearly 700 years of human history, during Ooh. which time we treated each other very, very well. Religious tolerance yeah. was at an all-time high. Human life was short and painful, and the man amputating your leg Wait, that's could climb what? high. Human life was short. Uh... Frothing the mouse Short out. and painful, and the man amputating your leg could probably also trim your beard. In other words, the good old days. But with modern technology, those good old days can be experienced all over again from the perspective Yay. of a single person you pick from the world map, who is then forced to live through your terrible decisions. CK2 falls under the definition of works. grand strategy, which might lead you to believe it's a strategy game. In truth, grand strategy is neither grand nor strategic. You just paint the map with color crayons and then upload your meme image of a holy Roman Empire onto Reddit for those sick upvotes. Grand strategy okay. is to strategy what doom is to the field of literature. Doom is not a very good book. In fact, it's not a book at all. So, don't uh. feel intimidated. This game is actually just a very simple Excel spreadsheet with a lot of poor UI scaling. But that's not the point of it. The point is the characters. A lot of poor UI scale. That's a real one. But sure. That's not the point. Your son hates you. Of it. The point is the characters, which behave as uncontrollable agents of chaos that act and react to everything you do, often in the most unpredictable, illogical, and insane way possible. In other words, they act exactly like humans. But what is your objective yeah. in Crusader Kings 2? Well, the same objective as every human being. As Oscar so Wilde once said, everything in the world is about sex. Except yeah. sex. Sex is about power. Power is what you're ultimately trying to gain. And in the medieval world, that? there are only two ways of reaching that. 
Is that a mod? Is that a Warcraft mod? The creature that he was playing as is from World of Warcraft, or at least I've seen it there for the first time. But why is Horden Alliance that fighting? Power, war and marriage. Essentially, you're sleeping your way to the top, and in the process, I'd love that. I'd, I'd play. I would like I've when I found out now that it's you choose a character and then you just play as one character and then you make decisions and stuff. It sounds awesome. If you can have a Warcraft mod, fuck yes. You pray you don't get poisoned, cucked, or inbred before your genes can pass on to the next generation. If you fail to preserve your bloodline, your dynasty ends and the game is over. You can't just pass on your genes, you gotta look after them too. Unless, of course, your seduction skills are so high that every woman in a hundred kilometer radius is already knocked up with your kids. Children aren't wow. exactly the best at staying alive. Your child at age zero? With your kids. Kids. Children aren't exactly the best at staying. His daughter, daughter died a sickly infant. Well, yeah, at age zero, you didn't have to say it pretty much twice. Alive. Your child could be killed during a mass archery incident by some madman armed with an automatic crossbow, or simply smothered by his own pillow, by his own mother holding the pillow. Whoa. So much like simply smothered by his own pillow, by his own mother holding the. They say the other. Gefil Feathermoon was executed by Lady Chandris of Sarder. Pillar. Okay. So, much like stocks and investment, I recommend diversifying your assets. Luckily, the same applies to what your happened? potential rivals. One of my favorite things in this game is performing hey. late-term abortions. Now, infanticide is not okay. something I support. It's something I recommend. Remember, if you can't oh. kill your enemies today, you can still destroy them tomorrow. Whether or not your dynasty can survive entropy and uncertainty will depend on how tactfully you can balance the needs and wants of your realm, which is completely impossible. Your vassals oh. always want more land, your wife always wants more jewelry, and your brother always wants more of your wife. Try to satisfy everyone, and you'll end up <laughs> satisfying no one, which is yeah. why the secret to a long reign is disposing of everyone who doesn't like you. After yeah. that, you're safe, secure, and absolutely at the mercy of this game's RNG system. Aside from oh. conscious actions, schemes, and intrigue, this game is actually played by hitting the space bar and letting time flow by. What does time hold in store for you? Oh, surprises. Heroes. A lot of surprises. And you're gonna hate every single one of them. 99% of the gameplay is based on random events. Some are good, some are bad, and you're completely powerless to stop them. Having a great time? Not anymore. You've got the plague, yeah. you've got syphilis, you've got lover's pox from sleeping with your maid. What do you do? Well, the yeah. only thing you can do, put your trust and faith in your dog and hope for the best. Also, execute your maid for giving you an STI. The doctor manages to cure your plague. A miracle. Oh. But the syphilis? That's gonna be a gift that keeps on giving. Thank yeah, your doctor. Then, execute him for incompetence. Order a new doctor. He's insane, paranoid, and probably a spy from Imperial China. But you know what? Why? He might just be the guy for the job. It turns out, he wasn't the guy for the job. And two of your direct heirs are now dead. They found rice grains in their chamber, but no conclusive evidence. Oh well. Anyway, wow. your spy master informs you that your doctor is trying to murder you. You can... Went back to normal humans. I like the... Look in the... The Warcraft thing. Front him and cool. make him feel very guilty about it. He agrees to stop trying to murder you. More of your children end up dead. Also, while you were battling a lifelong struggle with STIs, your wife was having an affair with your other wife. Yeah, you, you've got two actually. God bless oh. being a Muslim. Luckily, lesbianism is no risk to your dynasty. Yes, in Crusader Kings 2, having a homosexual wife is probably the best decision you could possibly make. But it doesn't sure. Save you because your doctor just saved you from a life of sexually transmitted disease by killing oh. you with a oh. lethal dose of Chinese herbal remedies. So try hard as you what? might, all Why your are efforts you will eventually yeah, come to happened? ruin. You'll get cucked and then you die. Quit the game and start again. Ultimately, you're playing Crusader Kings 2 for the journey, not the outcome. Okay. The stories you create in the process are unique to your experience. No game will go quite the same, which is why there's no reason for me to explain mechanics. 
Instead, hey. let me share some stories. Once, I played as Charlemagne, king of the Franks, after my brother died of <laughs> entirely natural. Stop looking at the mic. Why did you sit and lick your leg? There. Don't bite it. Why are you licking your leg like that? Because he can't see it all the way, but he put his left back leg on my arm and started licking it. Causes, you I was you. left to think on how I would conquer the rest of Europe. However, RNG Ooh. interrupted my schemes. Uh. Just like that, I woke up one day and I was gay. Most unfortunate. Oh. However, fortunately for me, another man of immense power was simultaneously struck with homo lust, the Pope. Oh. And so I seduced the Pope. Pope Stephanus III was an utterly geriatric recluse, but I knew deep down inside his soul he was just misunderstood i wrote him a romantic poem roses are red violets are blue i like penis and so do you my words reached him it. and had I their intended effect going. inside his heart and soon i was inside the pope the church was oh. oblivious to our forbidden love Gigi they had Vitti. no idea old Think? stephanus was aching Vitti. for more than just Vitti back pain. turns out it was very advantageous to have the pope as your lover any piece of catholic land i wanted he granted in exchange for French sausage, I received the entire Christian continent. And that's the historically accurate account of how Charlemagne took Europe by taking the Pope's ass. In another game, oh. I played as the Polish because I enjoy being abused oh. by my Jesus. enemies and my supposed friends who need more land. How much more land? Well, however much I had. Luckily, yeah, the land. bubonic plague began to ravage Europe. I oh. lost most of my territory from before, so I didn't feel too bad about it. My peasants and their livelihood were now somebody else's problem. Meanwhile, myself and my court went into hiding. The gates were shut, the keys were thrown away, until all of this boils over. However, we had a problem. Uh, food, or <clears throat> the lack of it. I didn't really think about that. I assumed every kingdom in the Middle Ages just had a Tesco Express around the corner. So, we waited. We starved. And then, we found an amazing solution. Why not eat, eat the rest of a court? I mean, yeah. they're not working anyway. So, we did just oh. that. And it was entirely sustainable. Children. Because I kept repeatedly inviting beautiful women to join my court. To be consumed by the court. I'm not proud of what I did. But I did what I had to. Which, it turned oh. out, was completely unnecessary. Apparently, Poland was not affected by the Black Plague. And I oh. sort of just freaked out and Ow. ate a lot of innocent people for absolutely no reason. Look, I'm not very good at this game. Luckily, such I horrific events are unlikely in modern times because of modern healthcare and sanitation. However, if a plague did to start somewhere, Ow. Would, you like to say a few... oh, well, would you like to say a few words about um, uh, our mold? Yes, stop filming it. That's what I want to say. Yeah, but you know, I'm not the one responsible for you guys leaving organic matter for so long that we, we have fluffy organic matter. Well, I was about to get rid of it until you put it on display for the world to see. Now let me... That would definitely be inside my friend's apartment. For my last game, I decided to break history and play with custom parameters. Ow. I designed it so every country was ruled by teenage girls aged 14 and over. It was pure chaos. It was a period of intense suffering. Also, I later found out I Perfect forgot to turn off great world. conquerors. So eventually, most of the known world was overrun by Genghis Khan and her teenage sorority. Luckily, she mostly mm -hmm. left me alone. Unfortunately, even if I got a matrilineal marriage, heir succession laws would mean that any child I produce might try and overthrow me. I was screwed, Ow. figuratively. But once again, RNG tossed me a bone. Through intense meditation and satanic rituals, I became immortal. On the other hand, oh. I also became an insane That's lunatic. And one day, in the style of Caligula, I replaced one of my counselors with a horse. I was oh. infatuated. Yet, I 
couldn't marry him. Our legal system was not advanced enough to consider human-horse relations. More importantly, the game didn't let me, so I used an exploit. I made my horse a bishop, and in the process of turning my pony into a priest, he automatically filled an entire kingdom with horses, which somehow could be married. So I married oh. and made love to a horse, producing an entire royal line of children that had no concern for the decadent ways of man. They were pure and majestic. Their their only concerns were eating carrots and shitting on the streets. At this point, my queen was like a bakery because she was getting bread. There's many stories to tell, but you get the general idea. Every Ow. game you ever play will start with Ow. honest, sincere intentions, Ow. which will Whoa. inevitably be corrupted and reduced to the most depraved and Why malicious acts you could ever no conceive. Damage. But hey, it's fun. And of sometimes course, you no destroy game my like fingers. Crusader Kings 2 is complete without multiplayer and friends, which always ends with everyone sleeping with your wife. This happens so often that I sleep with everyone else's wife Realistic. just in case. It sounds like Seth is fucking every, every man's wife at the moment. So. I'm only yes. fucking three men's wives. That's and because there's only like three men available in this <laughs> fucking country. Multiplayer is great. Some of the best shenanigans take place in multiplayer. And luckily, right, only the host right. has to have the three billion DLC packs necessary to make this game playable. The base game, much like a woman in her again. mid 40s, is a bit barren. You really need okay. the DLC to add some basic features that should have been in the base game. I think Wait, Silly needs a DLC to add some basic features. So the Islam, you play what regions will be slow. Okay. Features. You probably give me two. That should have been in the base game. I think CK2 Stop. is a wonderful game. But it's Stop. also a game published. You violated Paradise, the law. Which is why, even though I love even it, give I a shit, can't man. recommend it. Because the whole damn thing costs around anything from one hundred and twenty to two hundred dollars. With that same amount of money, you can satisfy your daily caloric intake for seventeen to twenty-eight days on nothing but I dollar I menu get. cheeseburgers from McDonald's. One of the most basic and essential components to human life but if you've got the money to spare go for it or just marry someone rich most people do it for a visa you can do it for video games alternatively ow, ow, there are ways ow. to obtain the dlc southeast london hole in the wall take the usb stick and don't look back if you do run if you hesitate i'm not responsible and i don't know you good luck and if you're curious fully if you satisfied, did put something worry. there there's an entire modding so community out there to fix all your issues you know it's tell me not please too difficult to mod the game that's so, true. in my case, I was getting PTSD from all the death sounds, which play each time a family member bites the dust. Which, well, have a listen for yourself. Well, to death. I think you'd agree these are a little bit unnerving. So I yeah. replaced every death sound really with a bass boosted sound clip of Lego Yoda. <laughs> now this is much more soothing to the ears. I don't even mind when people die now. It sounds great. Final Did score. I, scare you I hope with that you enjoyed sound? reading this essay as much as I enjoyed writing it. After playing this game for so long, I finally figured I'll... out its purpose. The primary goal of Crusader Kings 2, and perhaps life itself, isn't about living a good or Make bad everything life. Irish? It's about living an interesting life, and yeah. inevitably, to die an interesting death. So, you can loudly yeah, yeah, proclaim you on your deathbed. Ah. Thank God, I didn't waste it all on a boring life. Once you're dead and buried, you won't just be a footnote in history. You'll be an interesting footnote note in history. Take and do whatever you please in this life, because eventually it ends, and life can take anything and everything away from you, except your stories. So, better make them interesting, because we're all heading towards the same destination. 7 out of 10. Okay. I enjoyed it. I think it's very interesting. However, I'm always filled with regret and a constant state of what-ifs. What if I just Warcraft spent again. all that money on cheeseburgers? Would I be happier? I, I don't Warcraft. know. I guess it would depend on whether the burgers were fresh, or just the hot stale garbage they leave for a couple of hours as always more content to come so stay tuned like a warm cool. thanks to the many members of a merchants guild generously funding and bankrolling these videos you're all truly wonderful have a good one come crush my pot with a rock i must maximum pain i must endure okay here we go No, thank you. Let me just click over here. Okay, that's still happening. Great! Okay!
this is another game after the on the rail i want to play properly with mods of course but still i still want that still looks very fucking cool especially warcraft mod but i yeah, i could play it without that but anyway thank you anybody who watched this i appreciate it a lot and thank you for calming down again. And I hope to see everybody next time. Goodbye. Have a great life. Because one of us has to.